Okay, so we have to find the limit as x approaches infinity of the cosine of 13x over 13x. So there's really two ways to do this problem. So solution one is to basically just look at it and use intuition to come up with the answer. So notice that when x gets really, 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 really big, the bottom gets really, really, really big. And the top piece, cosine of 13x, is trapped between negative 1 and 1. Right, The cosine function can't get bigger than 1, and it can't get smaller than negative 1. It's a wave function. So this limit should just be 0, because the bottom is getting really big. So that's just talking it through and just thinking about it and writing down the answer, which may be OK, depending you know, uh, what you're doing this for. But if you just need the answer, that's an easy way to do it. If you have to show work in something like this, um, then another way to do it would be to use what's called the squeeze theorem. So to use the squeeze theorem, what you have to do is you have to get this thing between two things that approach 0. So you start by realizing that the cosine of 13x is always between 1 and negative 1. That's always true for sine and cosine. So if you have sine of x, that's always between 1 and negative 1. Likewise, cosine of x is always between 1 and negative 1. These things are always true and are just super useful in general in mathematics. Now we have to make uh, this look like our limit so we can divide each piece by 13x. And then the squeeze theorem says that we just take the limit of each piece on the, on the ends. So the limit as x approaches infinity of negative 1 over 13x, well, this limit is 0 because the bottom gets really, 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 really big. And the limit over here of the other piece is also 0 because the bottom gets really, 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 really big. So basically, you have this inequality. You have that this piece here on the left approaches 0. You have that this piece here on the right approaches 0. The squeeze theorem says that whenever you have this happening, whatever is trapped in the middle also approaches 0. So thus, the limit as x approaches infinity of the cosine of 13x over 13x is equal to 0 by the squeeze theorem. So by the squeeze theorem. It's also called uh, the sandwich theorem or the pinching theorem. I don't like those names. I like calling a squeeze. My favorite way to do this problem is to just look at it and think about it because you know that this cosine function can't be bigger than 1 and it can't be smaller than negative 1, right? I mean, cosine of 0 is 1 and then it does this, right? And it does this. And this is negative 1. This is 1. So it just goes on forever. So the bottom gets bigger and bigger and bigger and this thing just bounces back and forth. So eventually this just approaches 0. So this is equal to 0. So I hope this video has been helpful. That's it.